Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for May 18th, 2023. Well, yesterday, with the President and the Speaker of the House coming out and jointly saying that there will be no um, debt default, that they are working on a compromise to avoid, um, you know, a major problem. The bulls got really engaged yesterday and surged hard um, in the market, creating a bit of a short squeeze and pushing our indexes back up. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if they can give us some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Well, as I had mentioned, um, I hadn't turned this red on that breakdown from here because what I had suggested is what I needed to see is that we would fail that area before I turn that red. And the short squeeze yesterday prevented that from occurring and we we're very very happy yesterday um, with the idea that the Fed will not default unfortunately what we also ended up doing was pushing us right back in this trade range where we've been stuck before now we have this bit of a downtrend that's still going on here in the chart and although we're pushing up here in the pre-market let's see if we can follow through and push on up I think if those bulls can find inspiration today well then let's look up right up into this area here for the first test of a resistance area and if we can push past that then I'm going to look right up in here and you can see this corresponds all the way over here um, with um, a resistance in the chart to see if we can break on through that level up there and let's take a look at our moving averages this morning you can see that would be a test up there around that 500 day moving average to see whether or not we could punch on through and break this little short-term downtrend that we've got going on here in the chart. If we were to take a look um, to the other side of the market and say if those bears were to become inspired, where would we go? Well, if that were the case, um, I would look for a little bit of price support right back down in here, the bottom of that range. And then of course, if that were to fail, then we're looking right back down here in the chart. Um, which would obviously be a pretty big and uh, maybe a rather painful move for the market. So let's take a look at our um, SPY. SPY um, has been stuck in this range for a month and a half and we continue to stay stuck in the range. And although this big pop yesterday finally broke us through this um, resistance area where we've been trading for eight or nine days, we finally popped up through there. Now we're pushing up to challenge this resistance up here. So if those bulls continue to find inspiration, let's look for a test of this resistance up here and see if maybe this time we can break through and maybe break this trading range. Should we break through there, then I'm going to be looking for new high levels here in um, the SPY, maybe somewhere up in this region right in here where we might stretch to. As you can see, we've got some highs over here and here, maybe even that peak right here in the chart. Now, if those bears find inspiration or we're not able to break through that resistance up here, then once again, I would look for a retest of some of these levels. We might come back and test this level, may come back and test this level in the chart if those bears are inspired and unfortunately we continue to stay stuck in this range um, let's see if maybe the data today can help us break through that resistance to the upside on the moving averages here we've got lots of bullishness here on our moving averages which is very different from the diamonds but um, everything is holding in here very bullishly on um, the SPY. Let's take a look at our QQQ. Well, it's pretty easy to see that the QQQ is as bullish as it can get. As a matter of fact, um, there is a, uh, I wrote about this today in the morning blog that what we're seeing is a major separation from the tech giants. Um, tech giants like Apple, um, um, uh, Google, Microsoft, 
and Amazon um, have all increased their prices by more than 30%, while Meta has more than doubled um, so far this year. And um, unfortunately, the rest of the tech sector is not doing that. Um, it's being led by just a handful of stocks uh, to the upside. And what I'm beginning to wonder, and it's such a separation from the rest of the market, I wonder if we're building a little bit of a tech bubble in here that um, could burst at any time because we're getting these PE ratios so out of whack. Um, so keep an eye on that just in case tech suddenly um, decides to find some profit takers uh, in the chart. But very, very bullish. There's nothing in here bearish at all about QQQ. And if we can continue to find inspiration here, well, let's look for that resistance level right here in the chart to see if we're going to test that. And I don't see any reason why we can't. If the bears were to find inspiration, well, at this point, I'm going to suggest we come back down in here and we test this little support level right here. And if that were to fail, we come back and test that bigger support level right in that area of the chart. But we've certainly broken through and lots of bullishness, uh, particularly in a handful of big tech giants. Then if we take a look at our um, IWM, well, our IWM had a good day yesterday rallying up to test some price resistance in the chart, trying to break through that downtrend. Let's see if we can hold through that today. Remember, we can pop through an area and then reverse. That doesn't count as a hold. So we need to see a hold up in here. And by the way, I'm still holding a short position in IWM. That has not changed. Um, here in the market because, well, I, I have some rules that I trade by and I'm not going to let the emotion of the market um, uh, bump me out of a trade um, overall um, with this bearishness. And IWM still remains tremendously bearish. And if we take a look at our moving averages here, we did cross over our 50-day moving average. That does give me a little bit of concern about my position here. And it all depends on whether or not we can follow through on that trade. And noticing our 200-day moving average above, we could squeeze up into that 200-day moving average area. So watch that closely. Now, if we um, um, see that bullishness uh, continue here, then our next level in this chart is right up here at that resistance, if we can push on through. If those bears were to come back in and find inspiration for today, well, then I'm suggesting maybe we might pull back down into this region of the chart again. So watch for that closely. If we take a look at our VIX, our VIX, Although we had such a big move yesterday in the markets, what was interesting is the VIX responded, but not like you would have thought. Um, pulling back here from that um, 18 handle area, we ended up closing in uh, just uh, just below the 17 handle here in the chart. Follow through bullishness today. We'll see if we can break down through here. Um, remember, I think once we start breaking down through here, we're starting to show some complacency in the market. So kind of keep a close eye on that. Um, we'll want to watch that closely. And if the bears were to find inspiration, well, then maybe a retest back up here around those 18 handles. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now, T2122 responded back pretty substantially yesterday, and we squeezed right into the close. In the last few minutes, we squeezed right on through this little downtrend area here in the chart that puts us above the mid area of our t2122 and remember guys get so many questions on this t2122 doesn't tell us which direction the market's going to go it just tells us those pressure points when we're kind of overbought or oversold so looking here at t2122 above the midline you notice if the bulls can continue to find inspiration then there is certainly upside opportunity here in the chart if the bears were to find inspiration well then i would be looking down here and see if um uh that reversal again could potentially occur so watch for those and there's no sign um, um, e either way there's no reason to believe we can't go on up there's no reason to believe we can't go back down if we take a look at our t2108 well t2108 rallied yesterday but unfortunately we didn't resolve anything about 43 44 percent of the stocks holding above their 40-day moving averages. And you can see we're still 
coiling up in this wedge. Although we had that big surge yesterday, we didn't find a way to break through those resistance levels in the chart. So we're, we're still stuck below those resistance levels and above the support levels in the chart. And we continue to coil in this move. And, and unfortunately, um, the Diamond Spy and IWM are still stuck in the same trading ranges we've been in for about a month and a half. If we take a look at our T2107, whoops. T2107 also rallied up yesterday, but again, not what you would have expected with such a big move in the market and all the the hyperness that was going on in the market. Um, we did rally up and we're trying to sneak out from under that downtrend right there, trying to sneak out from under that. But here, unfortunately, again, we're still coiling up in this wedging pattern where we need that snap higher or snap lower. And we still have to keep in mind that we have this big old head and shoulders pattern on here that we wanna be watching uh, carefully um, in this chart. So T2107, about 40, 41% of the stocks holding above their 200 day. If we take a look at our T2101, well, our T2101 showed us that we Whips out again here in T2101, changing that uh, momentum signal here again. And we certainly did have some momentum yesterday in that buying, but unfortunately it wasn't as broad based as um, we would like it to be. It was really centered, continuing to be centered around uh, the tech giants that lifted us quite a bit. So watch that closely if we continue to whip. Uh, momentum has been struggling here but at least we had better volume yesterday so maybe we're starting to get some better data here let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today in our economic calendar well we've got kind of a busy one here this morning and it looks like i have oh somehow closed the economic calendar here for today so if you give me just a moment guys and i apologize it's one of those one of those things about doing a live video that sometimes I mess up. So here we go. Um, here's, here's the calendar and let's take a peek here. As you can see um, what we're going to be dealing with here this morning, we're going to be dealing with a jobless claims number coming out here. Um, jobless claims are looking to be a little bit less than last time so watch that closely remember those have been creeping up here and really signal that the economy is slowing uh, then we're going to have philly fed boy i tell you philly fed comes in anything like the empire state manufacturing number that could be trouble for us and right now they're expecting consensus is expecting this to be a big negative number um, but right now they're they're showing it as an improvement over the big negative number last time so keep an eye on that it could signal an improvement if we happen to miss like we did over here on empire state that could be a problem for the market it is potentially market moving keep in mind we have existing home sales natural gas report we've got some fed speakers in here today to kind of keep us all on edge and then of course we at the end of the day we've got some bond auctions here fed balance sheet to be paying attention to moving into friday um most notable thing for friday is going to be the big guy uh jerome powell will be out here speaking and we've also got william speaking so kind of keep an eye on that you know how nervous the market can be when jerome powell speaks so be prepared for that. Let's take a look at our um, earnings for today. Now our earnings are starting to wind down and, and this week um, we're really kind of wrapping up um, earnings here in the market. There's still gonna be some earnings struggling in um, over the next several weeks, but um, the big the big portion of them are out of the way. Now this morning we got a Walmart report and Walmart um, reported better than expected and their guidance is good basically on groceries and things like that and you can see we're getting a pop here this morning on Walmart um, popped up strong but um, is already selling and now it'll be interesting to see how we react uh, once the conference call is over on Walmart so watch that one close we've got um, um, applied materials that we'll be reporting today we're going to hear from Baba 
we're gonna hear from BBWI. B I L I and B R C today. So keep an eye on those. We're going to hear from C O O S. Nope, that's not right. G O O S. We've got uh, Canadian Goose that will be reporting here. Um, we've got, and looks like a big pop there on, from Canadian Goose this morning. We've got um, CSIQ on the list, Deckers on the list, Dole on the list, DXC will be reporting, Pitch, Flow, NIO, NTNX, ELCE, Roast, and VIPS. Those are the notables for the for the day. And then keep in mind, they're really going to start dropping off dramatically. I think tomorrow we've got TJ Maxx, but um, uh, they're really going to start dropping off uh, very dramatically here. Be a lot more sporadic with more of the very small caps um, reporting. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. Um, but before we do that, guys, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, well, you know what to do. Click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And then if you feel these videos are useful, helpful to you, if you could please do me that favor and continue to drop those um, um, comments on the channel. Um, click those thumbs up buttons, share these videos out on your social media feed. That helps a ton. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who does take the time to do that. I do truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at um, some of these stocks that um, could be setting up. And remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any securities. As a matter of fact, do your own due diligence and be very, very careful in this market. Anything is possible. And we saw yesterday just how quickly and how fast those emotions can, can come into play here on the market on these data points. So be prepared for that and watch for pretty big whipsaws as we kind of sort out this emotion and maybe trying to find a direction here in the market. First off, let's take a look. Take a look at MasterCard. MasterCard, nice pop yesterday on here, breaking through resistance, as you can see, holding a beautiful upside trend. Why well, keep an eye on MasterCard? That's looking really, really good. You might also want to take a look at Visa. Now, Visa hasn't been able to pop out yet, but you can see Visa's pressing against that major resistance level in the chart. Wouldn't be a big surprise right now if that could pop on through to the upside. And you can see this is just a substantial resistance. So if Visa gets above that, there could be some big upside in that chart. Let's take a look at uh, Chewy. Chewy trying to come out of a bottom, as you can see here. Chewy trying to break through this downtrend. Here's that first higher low that I like to look for in the charts holding on to support. I keep an eye on Chewy for that next potential move. It may be ready to move to that upside. Keep a close eye on that, starting to break through and look pretty darn good um, in, in that chart. If we take a look at, um, Take a look at OKTA. OKTA also putting in an interesting pattern here. You'll notice that this is a inverted head and shoulders pattern and that potential neckline break. Um, if we measure from the head to here, boy, that pushes us right up through this resistance in the chart if that follows through that way. So keep an eye on that. OKTA looking pretty good um, out there. Take a look at Shop. Shop had a good day yesterday. Um, trying to hold that support hanging in there and you can see we may be using this trend we could see if we're going to hold that trend and look for that next upside opportunity into that chart so um, or into that next resistance level up there so keep an eye on Shopify looking pretty good overall uh, take a look at CMG now CMG has been really really strong since its earnings report and it's continuing to consolidate now if this is oh darn it if this is our upside trend right here 
get my correct tool. If this is our upside trend here, we may be chopping closer and closer toward that trend. And I would look for that next opportunity then to the upside in uh, that chart. Take a look at Carvana. But Car, whoops. I'm having some typing trouble here today. Um, who'd have guessed? You have to type in the right symbol to get the chart to move to that right symbol. <laughs> if we take a look at Carvana, um, set a price alert here on Carvana yesterday, popping up through there, nice little um, break through this resistance, hold of that support, um, looking for some upside. This might be a little bit steep in the trend. Um, don't be surprised if this needs a little bit more rest, but it could also go from here if we're going to be really bullish in the market keep an eye on carvana that's looking pretty good and another one um, i placed a price alert on yesterday was uh, wayfair nice little breakthrough of resistance in here you can see trying to pop up through that 50-day moving average i would guess a move up to the 200 is certainly possible in that chart so a nice little pop up through there and i would watch right in here um, that upside trend. If that's going to be the case, then let's, let's look for Wayfair to maybe stretch on higher to the upside. There's also lots of stuff out there in techs like NVIDIA. Um, very, very strong. Now, I think this probably needs a little rest or pullback. Um, what it's doing is building toward its earnings on the 24th. So keep an eye on that. Um, then AMD, AMD continuing to resume that to that upside move, breaking through resistance yesterday, moving to the upside. Big tech um, is a monster right now. There just doesn't seem to be any price that people are unwilling to pay for the tech giants. So as we continue to stretch up, breaking through this resistance, I would need a little rest or pullback before I'd be interested in buying this. And I wanna caution everyone, that's a very steep upside trend. It's unlikely it can be sustained for a long period of time, but it may continue here for a while. So watch that close. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thank you so much for listening and being here. I do appreciate it. I want to wish you all a great day of uh, productivity and profits. Stay safe. We'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning. Wish you all the best.